Hi, and welcome to Hi Who, where we take a look back at landmark games from the past and see how they hold up to current industry trends and standards. Today, I was going to look at Devil May Cry 3, and I guess I'll talk about that briefly, but overall, this is more going to be a warning video if you are considering buying older or re-released Capcom games. Now, I really like Capcom titles, I really do. I think Resident Evil is a fantastic franchise, and the Devil May Cry series is a lot of fun, but there's one thing all these games have in common. One, they were all ported to PC from an older console version. Two, they mostly had minor HD adjustments. Three, they all were terrible PC ports and had the fans go in and make patches to fix them. And four, they were all made by Capcom. Now, whilst doing reviews for this channel, I've stumbled across a reoccurring pattern, and that is whenever I install and go to play a Capcom game that is an older title, I'm bound to come across issues. Now, this is pretty normal. I mean, most games I've done on this channel, I've had to make minor tweaks graphically or in the any files to get it to run, but this is different. Let me break it down to you for a few franchises here. If you want to play Resident Evil 1 to 4, here's what to expect when you first press New Game. Game. You are going to expect a latency between the audio and the video and extremely slow motion gameplay. Capcom advises that you lower your graphics, but we all know that's a load of bullshit to play games from the early noughties. So what do you have to do to fix this? You have to find a fan-made patch and replace some files in the game folder. The game is pretty smooth sailing from there though. When you take Devil May Cry 3, for example, you'll start the game off, and whilst in the starting menu, you go to press some of your conventional PC buttons that have been around and implemented for the last 25 plus years of PC gaming. And what do you find? You find that Enter is an Enter, and the port has all the key bindings all fucked up. I mean, I think it was K that was the Enter button in this circumstance. You realize that the game can't function without a keyboard either, so you go to plug in your controller and you find out that that isn't compatible either. The game doesn't even have a full screen mode, so Capcom have cheaply ported this game, shoved a $20 price on it, and it's simply unplayable. Now, if you go to the forums, you'll find one thing. A fan-made patch. These patches available online only really help with the controller and doesn't really help with the fact that the game has a really shoddy camera. I didn't get very far whilst trying to review the game because of how bad this camera was. I would often lose bosses off my screen and I would have no idea when they were going to attack. This was due to how shitty the controls were and no ability to move the camera even with these patches installed. I can see this game being really fun as the core mechanics are simple and the genre hasn't really changed too much over the years, but I soon gave up and decided to make this video. I've read online that Lost Planet and Bionic Commando are also really bad ports, mainly with the controls as well, however I'm not fully aware of their fixes. It's just insulting that Capcom can re-release these games at, at a higher definition and in some cases neglecting to actually look at the functionality on people's PCs. So let this be a warning. If you are considering buying a Capcom game, please read the forums first about the overall functionality of the games and the relevant fixes. I've managed to get all the Resident Evil games to work with fan-made patches and they are very fun games. And I'll probably get around to viewing them all at some point. But before I get a chance to talk to you about them, I just wanted you to be aware of the shitstorm that is Capcom and their PC ports. Now please feel free in the comments below to post forums or fixes to these games. I'll try and drop a few in the description below myself. Until then, play some Sega. This is Shawnee Maurice from HiHoo. Thanks for watching.